Hi, it's Chris again. Got a new toy for my telescope. It's the Celestron Next Image 10 Solar System Imaging. It's a camera, it's an eyepiece camera that goes in directly in your eyepiece. It comes with a one and a quarter inch adapter for the uh, size of the eyepiece that you have. It also comes with the driver software and the uh, Registack software for stacking your images when you're done. Uh, like I say, it's just an eyepiece camera. It comes with a standard one and a quarter inch tube for the eyepiece. You can also buy an adapter that will go on the uh, Celestron uh, Duo eyepieces so you can image right through the eyepiece if you wanted to. But it just fits right in the eyepiece and you take your images. Of course, you got to have a computer. But uh, you take your images and uh, I've done some playing with it. So I just wanted to show you what I've come up with so far. Thank you. Hi, right, this video of Jupiter was taken on a full moon night and it's 16 seconds long and it ended up being 1,151 frames. Uh, telescope's tracking not too shabby. It's catching up to itself pretty good there. Now I took the image and I read, used Registack 6.1 to get the image taken from that video. And you can see two of the moons in it. Uh, it's pretty nice. I mean, for my level of uh, equipment, it's not bad at all. Now, this video here was uh, the following weekend, and for some reason or other, my uh, telescope's not tracking too good, and uh, it's moving right across the screen. Well, I took it and I put it into a cast drawer to actually get it to center the image for the whole track and this frame this one ended up being after it was done from 3980 frames to only 390 frames from caster and this is my Reggie stack image of the caster uh, video clip and it's not too bad either now I did try to uh, stack the image before I put it through Castro, but I ended up having ghosts of Saturn throughout the original track of the video. So it helped quite a bit to put it in the uh, Castro.